What's going on comic book community? We're back again with another video. What is that three days in a row of content? Are you kidding me? It's your boy King Midas, AKA the one and only. We have a Frankie's Comics box to open up here. This is a couple of variants that I bought a long time ago. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying Frankie's. This isn't Frank. This is from Mutant Beaver Comics. And, uh,. I bought I bought it from the boys up north. Shout out to Pressable Defects because they always shout out Mutant Beaver Comics. So I decided to go through them to buy a few books. And it was actually some books that I really, really wanted. Um, and we're going to find out what that is. Hope you guys have had an amazing Tuesday. I hit the gym today, did legs, so I'm feeling it. I am feeling it. Uh, open up. Oh, yay, the joys of opening up a, a book live. <laughs> so we're going to set that over there. And not only are we going to open this up, but we also have some more submissions to show you guys. I literally spent like 45 minutes looking for one particular book, <laughs> went through all these boxes in my garage. It was literally on the left hand side. I started on the right and worked my way all the way to the left and it would have been like the third box as opposed to the 28th box that I had to go through looking for this comic book. Unbelievable. So let's just go ahead and get all this tape off here. And I don't mind that it's taking a while because that all that means folks is that the books were very very secure. All right, tape, 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 tape. All the tape in the world. I'm really excited to show you uh, some of these books. I am a little, little disappointed in one of them because there's like some uh, color rubbing that occurred. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. And it sucks because it is a very, very hard variant to find. At the time, it was like your, your typical 1 in 10 ratio, I believe. The back of the book actually says it, so we'll be able to um, I'll be able to show you guys, or tell you guys specifically what the ratio is for that book. Wow, they, um, I'm, I'm really trying my hardest not to cut this, the, the bag for the comic, because I'm getting a little impatient. Trying to open this up. Oh my goodness. And then there's more tape on the inside too. <laughs> Alright, well. Finally! I wasted the first 10 minutes. <laughs> it wasn't that long. Um, so, Mutant Beaver. They gave us, uh, this is like a little magnet. That's kind of cool. Let me get my face out of there so you guys can see it a little better. Mutant and Beaver. Oh, they sent a bonus book. Oh, that's kind of cool. Thanks, guys. They sent a bonus book of this Inhyuk, I believe it's Inhyuk Lee, King in Black variant, issue number five. But, you know, it's Black Cat. We'll take that. That's a pretty book. I think it's also too, they, they might have sent it because these comics kept getting delayed. I was supposed to get these a while ago. So, Rose Besh, we mentioned in a previous video, is hot right now. So they put these uh, incentive, Star Wars Adventures number one books, Rose Besh, Tales of Villainy, Trade Dress, and of course, we had to get that Virgin as well. Beautiful book. Very happy with it. Doesn't seem to have any. Ooh, there's some color rub there at the staple. Yikes. That's unfortunate. Guys, okay, so you have to you have to let me know. Does color rub is color rub something that can be cleaned off? Or is it just like or, or you just you just done? <laughs> Ooh, this is a Mastrazo. Oh, is that a spine tick? It looks to be on the book, yep, that's a spine tick. 
color breaking one and a second color breaking one that's unfortunate it's a virgin copy of uh, uh, Mastrazo Vampirella 25 I guess her and Dracula getting married love it because it reminds me of Maliv and Frazetta and their spine ticks on it so that sucks and then this one <laughs> yeah Oh man, it looks like there's a color rub on this too near the staple. That's insane. Man. Anyway, let me show you guys. This is Carnivore Comics, the Bubble Virgin variant, limited to 400. This is number 228 of our girl Cami from Street Fighter. Uh, as Beauty would say, mmm. <laughs> By Kun Kun Kunka. Kunka is the artist there, the digital artist. Yeah, I think that would come off pretty easy there on that one, though. So that was the Mus uh, Mutant Beaver box that took forever to open up. So I hope you guys enjoyed those books. I'm really happy that we finally got them. So now I have a pile, a pile of books. Um, but we're going to split it up. We're going to save some for tomorrow as well. So I don't go through all of them right now. I was looking for my Adam Hughes lot that I bought off of eBay last year. And a particular book that I'm going to show you here today. Oh, and then this one, which I can't submit to CGC. And I'll show you why. Uh, I've showed this on the channel before in the Raw, uh, Raw Books Inside series which uh stopped halted after one two episodes so i got to get back to that but this is uh invincible iron man issue number nine first appearance of riri and it's immaculate right but the only reason as you guys can see that i can't send it to cgc is because of brian michael bendis's signature on it so this is a cbcs submission all day and uh eventually we'll get that sent out because yeah that's fire that is fire as i was searching for books i found this this book is trending so uh don't know why <laughs> but that's there some other things that are trending um this cover for spider-man going up in value there miles and gwen kissing uh, what else do we have here in this pile and then we'll go over uh, piles everywhere y'all so i'm going to show you some of the adam hughes stuff this is a virgin variant of uh vampirella issue number 11. on the back here it says it's a 9.4 plus i think with a press it i don't know how anyone can tell what a 9.4 is and a 9.8 if there i mean you know okay if there's a spine tick there is nothing on this book so for him to say that it's a 9-4, like you're being conservative or or what? You know what I mean? Next up, we have uh, G.I. Joe issue number two, Baroness. I really have to decide, y'all. I really, really have to decide what we're going to send off to CGC. I really don't know. Oh, I have to check all these books here. I found some Star Wars blood ties that were just sitting sitting in a box i'm like why why is this just sitting in a box pull those out i have all four issues of that let's see what else we have here oh and then this one's trending too <laughs> so i pulled this out issue 634 of amazing spider-man grim hunt issue number one we also have craven's daughter and the variant there and then to continue, we have part two. Oh no, this is part four. Ah! <laughs> part four. Part three. Part two. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a trending as well. We have a Heroes. Yeah, Heroes Comics 2011, which, got, which has a nasty spine tick, but it's not color breaking. So this has a shot to be pressed. Really nice Adam Hughes cover there. Very rare, dirty pair, Adam Hughes, Dark Horse cover. This is uh, based off in an anime. So I love this cover. And let's do a courtesy check here. Immaculate, just needs a press. 
The famous Catwoman, 80, 51. <laughs> it's like 83. It's not 83. Probably the, the best book out of that entire run there that Hughes had. And of course, issue 70, which is just another classic, iconic Hughes Catwoman cover. And that's what I'm going to show you for today from that pile. But this is the book that I spent 45 minutes looking for. <sighs> All right. This one, I believe, is potentially bulletproof. So this is Action Comics 894. First appearance of death in continuity for the main DC line. DCU. Sandman's on its way, so good to see it. So I, I do have to really, really look at this. I think this is this one's probably not the sharpest corners. I don't know if a press helps with corner. Again, you guys, I'm very, very <laughs> novice when it comes to pressing. So any kind of advice, if you have any pressers out there that know a little bit of how what pressing can do as far as like you know, sharpening those corners, etc. Um, let me know, cause I'd I'd love to learn. I, and I, and I know that there's videos out there, YouTube videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so this book, oh my goodness! So it says it's a nine-two on the back, so it doesn't say exactly what the ratio of this is, but it's the same book, Action Comics eight ninety-four, first appearance of death in the DCU continuity. This is the variant cover for this that I don't know anyone else I, I you never see this book anywhere and what's killing me right now what is killing me is that <laughs> near the staples there are massive let me see if you guys can see it this massive dirt line Maybe you guys can't see it. I'll have to take a picture of it and put it on IG. Maybe you guys can see it better that way. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure both of those are not supposed to be there. Other than that, the book is is stunning. Stunning. So I don't know if that's something like, oh my God, it, it, can it get cleaned off? If we can get cleaned off and pressed, I mean, you're looking at the back of this says 9-2 respectively, but I think a lot of the books from whatever retailer this was from at the time, all of them said it was just near mint 9-2. So I imagine with presses, it, it could look a little better. So I don't know. You never see this book. Action Comics 894, the variant cover. So there's two of them. I'd really like to to really take a fine, tone, uh, fine comb, uh, fine tooth comb. That's the saying, Jesus. And <laughs> go through each of those books. Uh, maybe they might, they wouldn't make it in a pre-screen 9.8, maybe a 9.6 pre-screen. So I'm debating whether if that's worth it or not either. So we're gonna take a look at that one a little further. And to wrap it up, I figured we'd look at the hot comics cover price list really quick. This is just the main cover price list. We're not gonna look through mine. I, I, no reason to go through it twice when it seems like a lot of my books end up on this list anyway, which isn't the case today. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at, at what we have. Hidden, hidden heavy on some Silver Age. You even got a uh, Golden Age Superman there, Superman 12. That, I mean, that doesn't need the trend. That will always forever be hot. You find that, you're doing good. You got McFarlane Spidey there, Art Germ. Hulk number two, Donnie Cates. And just some more of the hot books for the week, or for the day, excuse me, for uh, the beginning of a new month. Look at that. March 1st already. Very cool. Oh, there's, there's the hottest book in the last decade. Ultimate Fallout 4 going up a little bit there. Some Spawn, some Shadow of the Bat. Some more Hulk. A lot of Hulk on this list today. Spider-Man. 
We got Moon Knight. The Super Suns making the list here. Some Namor, Namor rumors out in the wind right now. Heavy, heavy Namor rumors. Frank Miller Daredevil. Miguel O'Hara. Nightwing Jock Batman cover there. And the last row to finish out the hot comics list for March 1st. Again, it's uh, crazy that we're already, it's already March 1st. Incredible. So again, tomorrow, new comic book day, guys. We're going to uh, come back, make a video for the books that we pick up. And from there, we'll show you another small little pile to keep it going. See what you guys think of the submissions. So until get, uh, <laughs> I should just end the video, right? Bag and boredom, y'all. Take care.